Welcome back. Today we begin our trip in Lugano on the Gothard Panorama Express train, which will take us through the Swiss countryside on our way to a town called Flulen. Once there, we'll board a steamboat and travel across the lake to Lucerne, where we plan to spend the next few days exploring the beautiful Jungfrau region. All the others are going to Flulen, taking the boat and then going by boat to Lucerne. That's right. It's yeah. right. For you as well. First of all, you have here the map. You can follow where we are. We start in Lugano, number 36, going to Bellinzona, Airolo, Göschenen, and then through the tunnel to Göschenen, then down to Führer, and then you will switch over to the boat. It's very easy. We should arrive more or less a quarter to 12 o'clock. The boat will leave only 12.00. You have plenty of time. It's a walk of about 80 meters, not more. Plenty of time. Very easy. The second, you have both cards on your table with train and boat. If you turn them, you can see they are pre-stamped. You already oh, write I went one. For it. <laughs> <laughs> you already wrote one. Okay, uh, you have a pen. You can use the pen to write the postcards. The written postcards, I will collect them before you will leave the train. It's very easy for you. I will collect them, bring to the post office for you. Nothing to do. If you prefer to keep it like that, you can also do that. You are not obliged to write cards, postcards all <laughs> over the world. Uh, for my information, you are coming from which countries? Netherlands, I have heard. Canada, but English, the language is English, not from Quebec. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Netherlands. Okay, okay. They have already four birds from Netherlands. Australia. Australia, Switzerland. 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 And Australia. <laughs> and Australia. 50 years. Perfect. Netherlands. Netherlands as well. Germany. Germany. Thailand. Thailand. Welcome. Okay, you can send them back home or to your boy or girl friends in Saudi Arabia, wherever you like. It's <laughs> very easy. I, 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 I repeat, I will collect them and bring them to the post office. Oh. Okay, those about the postcard. Here are always two. Here is only one. If you would like to have a second one, let me know. I will bring you a second one. Because we have two boyfriends in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our trip on the Gothard Panorama Express was already off to a great start. And our tour guide was very funny and informative, too. Both Lee and I began to fill out the commemorative postcards, and we planned to mail them back to one another after the trip was over. Our catering team will serve light refreshments and snacks at your seats. If you have any questions at any time, our train team will be happy to answer them. We wish you a pleasant journey. Since 2020, the Chenery Base Tunnel has led directly from Lugano to this plain. Together with the Gotthard Base Tunnel, this tunnel completes the continuous flat railway route from the Mediterranean to the North Sea. On today's journey, you will discover how Europe's project of the century came to be. In front of the train, Montebello uh, may be the nicest one. This, this is Montebello here. <laughs> Our train will be controlled the whole day from this center. You will see a special concrete building now within a short while on the right side. Ten and a half meters, this rusty element. The machine is from Germany. The Herrenknecht is the, is the famous company all over the world who is producing those machines. This is the head of the, of the machine. And then, uh, now on the left side, uh, here we'll start, this is the south portal, here we're starting the longest tunnel of the world, 57 kilometers. Oh, wow. Here it starts, as I told you, actually because of a derailment out of service. There's a derailment, so it's out of service at the moment. But that was the okay, interest of the longest train tunnel the in the world. Tubes. Look, they are going here into the mountain. Here, you can see the shape below the grass. Here it goes into the mountain. Within one and a half hour, we will see the end at the moment.
As we continued along the train tracks, our tour guide pointed out points of interest. The scenery all around us was beautiful and non-stop. Every view was breathtaking. I just couldn't stop looking out the window. And between the two, there is a stairway going up. Large 80 centimeters. Totally 4,621 steps. <laughs> and every year, there is a race going on. Oh, yeah. To plan to do it with, as quick as possible. If you are interested in Norway, it's, May, it's the month of May. If you are looking in the internet under stairways to heaven, so like that it is called. Then you will find first the Led Zeppelin song, which has the same name. And if you go a little bit down, then you will find this, this, uh, this run here, this race. Every 45 seconds, one, one racer is starting. And uh, it's nearly 45 degrees, and it, you have the impression it's vertical. And you have no platform between. You have one step up, you have 4,621. The record to be are 22 minutes. No. Okay, oh. you have to trade a little bit, then you come back next year no. and you try. Do not panic, everything is normal. That's me, yeah? that's not me. I do not have any technical defect. Otherwise, call me, I will hold your hand and I will do all my very best. And then you will see some pits on the tunnel wall on the right side. And you can see it better if I reduce the light side. When we survived, the here is now the memorial. You can see here behind the, the postcard. Okay, when we survive the darkness, then I will bring you some sweet. <laughs> we are turning right into the tunnel and going this goes straight 15 kilometers. We're into the dark tunnel. Okay, no fear when it becomes dark. You have a strong man in We are going to turn down the train lights and We're going to the tunnel 15 kilometers. Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, we have just arrived in the lakeside city of Fluen, and in just a few minutes, we will be boarding our steamboat across Lake Lucerne.
All right, we're off. Let's go. Shortly after pulling away from the dock, bells from a nearby church began ringing out as we set sail across Lake Lucerne. We found an area at the front of the boat where we could sit outside and enjoy the fresh mountain air while taking in the stunning vistas of Lake Lucerne. The steamboat ride is also included with your Gothard Panorama Express ticket. I'll put the information in the description if you're interested in purchasing tickets. With this journey, you have the choice of beginning your trip in Lugano in the south, or you can start at Lucerne in the north. Look at that water, as you can see down to the rock down there. We have about another hour to go still. There's another port we're pulling up to first. Each and every lakeside town that could be seen from the boat seemed to offer something different. I wish we had more time to explore. Our steamboat is pulling up to Lucerne Harbor now. Stay tuned because in the next video, we'll begin with a visit to an ancient medieval city wall and a clock tower offering views of the city from up above. After that, we'll wander through the enchanting old town Lucerne and experience what this city has to offer. So make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And until then, take care. Bye for now.